Hi, I'm Melissa Shannon from DigitalScrapbookingHQ.com and today I'm going to show you how you can put multiple photos on a 4x6 canvas for printing. Okay, the first thing we need to do is open up Photoshop Elements. I'm in Photoshop Elements 10 here. File, New, Blank File, and here we choose Inches. We're going to have a 4 inch wide by 6 inch tall canvas. We'll leave the resolution at 300. That's the default standard for digital scrapbooking and most printers. Click OK. And here's our canvas. Now it's a matter of placing our photographs onto there. I like to use the place command as that allows me to resize my photos as many times as I want to. So I just click on file, place, go to the image I want and then it'll place the photo here. So at this point I'm just going to click tick and then add another photo. I'm going to add a third photo. In the same way, file, place, select my photograph and then place. I'm going to work out how I want to work with these photographs. I think I'd like this one to be larger and these two to be smaller. So I'm just going to view rulers and I can see here my ruler and I'm just going to change it over so that it shows me inches instead of centimetres. So we go down to Edit, Preferences, and then Units and Rulers. I want them in inches at this point. Okay, now we can go to View and then New Guide. I'm going to make the first photograph 4x3. So I'm going to have a horizontal guide going at 3 inches. You can see that across there now. Then I'm going to add another guide. View, new guide, a vertical guide at two inches. So I'm going to move my photos around and resize them. So for this photo, I'd like it. I think it'll work better if I rotate it. Type in 90 degrees so it's just rotated nice. Then I'm going to fill the space for these top two quarters of the photo with this cute, cute photo of Emily. Now the next photo I'm going to use the bottom left hand corner for. I'm going to just resize that by clicking and dragging the corners. Now again because I've placed these images I can just run my um, resizing again and again until I'm totally happy with it. I'm happy with that one. And then this one here. I think I'm going to actually rotate that one. So I'm going to do 90 degrees. So now you notice that my photograph here overlaps this photograph on the left. So to fix that problem, I'm just going to drag my photo to the bottom of the stack of layers. Now I can sit quite nicely. Now if I want this um, to be on a white background, say to have some white strokes around the edge of the image, just going to add a new layer and fill that with white by pressing K to select my bucket tool and then filling that layer. I'm going to drag that down to the bottom. So now you can see the effect. Now I had originally intended for these to be regular sizes. 
But I think I'm actually going to go a little bit more flexible with this. Let's have a look. If I drag my photograph underneath, and I'm going to hide the guides now. Just turn them off. Now I can resize this to remove any white space. Now obviously now that I've not used the guides, if I, I, I'm now not printing them in the standard size. So if you're printing them to fit into divider page protectors or something like that, you really have to stick by the guides. Okay, so now we'll save our work. File, save as. And when I want to print it, um, without my printer, online printer, just do file, save as, JPEG, and then make sure I've got the quality up really high, do OK. And then when I go to Shutterfly or whoever, I will just upload that photos.jpg image. If I ever want to come back and edit and play with the, the layout of the photos, I can just open up the original PSD file and keep playing. Because all my photographs have been placed, I've got plenty of scope for playing and I don't lose any quality when I resize my images. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful and you can now print as many photos as you like on a 4x6 canvas. Do you have a Photoshop Elements question? Leave me a comment and let me know which video tutorial you'd like me to record next. Visit digitalscrapbookinghq.com for more tips, tutorials and free online workshops.